Yeah. All right. So, good morning, everybody. Good morning, Randy. Welcome back to Mayor. Thank you. Thank you. Was a minute for a while. All right. Um, so we got today is uh, I think that's Pei Hei. Not mistaken, right? Yeah, Pei Hei, right? Yeah. Ah, all right. So Pei Hei, what were we discussing yesterday? Um, ah. Let's see. All right. So this will this will continue up with the conversation. All right. Let's. Uh, we'll begin and then Gamar sort of remind us exactly what we discussed yesterday. Let's see where, oh. So Papa, uh, excuse me, we are around six lines from the top on Pei Hei of Manalus. And away we go. Rav Papa, Rav Huna, Bredi, Rav Yeshua, Ikla, Lein Sibu. I guess they're in Sibu. La Asre was the place of Rav Idi Bar Ab. And Bar Minayu, they asked the question of him. So just a quick reminder, we're discussing uh, cases of uh, 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 perhaps women that were forbidden to their husbands, but mother to the Yavams or vice versa. So question was, Huzuru Kesheros Linasi Psulim. Our Kesheros, a regular Bas Yisrael, who is mother of the Kahuna, right, she's mother to marry a coin, <clears throat> is she permitted to marry a psul, a chalal, right? We had that question. We, we, the, 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 the Mishnah assumed, or we went with the Shita that was permitted yesterday. We talked about that. Hello, or not? So Amalu, Rav Papa, said the Papa answered. He says, Tani Sua. It says, Sorry, you can a little bit above. So there were 10 different categories of, of those of Yichos that, that came up from Bavel, from Golas. So Kohanim, Levim, the Yisraelim. So list the categories, those three, Chalolim, Geirim, the Charurim, Mamzerim, right? Uh, Chalolim, uh, people who, who came from a, that's an Israelav, or, or, or Geirim, converts, Charurim, those are Frizz, Mamzerim, uh, the Sinim, the, the Sinim we, uh, we discussed earlier in terms of those who uh, sort of, Gibonim, right? Who were forced a conversion, but wasn't a real conversion. Shtuki, Vyasuki, or those who are amongst a, a group we don't know exactly, or we don't know who exactly the, who the parents are. So those are the different yuchsin that came up, and it says over there, Kohana Levim Yisrael, Maternal Levos, Zebazeh. The Kohana Levim Yisrael, they can go ahead and marry one another. Um, and then it says, Levim Yisrael, Mechalolim, Gerim, Mecharurim, Maternal Levos, Zebazeh. And then it says, in the next category, was Levim Yisrael, and the Chalolim, and Gerim, and the Charurim, could all mother marry one another. And, uh, Right, and those who the 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 the, the converts and then the, the slaves and the mamzerim and the sin and the shtuki and the sufi, those are mutter to marry one another. So those are three categories of who can marry one another. It doesn't say anywhere over there that a uh, kohenes can go ahead and marry a chalo. So you see that a chalo cannot marry uh, a kohenes, a woman who's ksher lekuhuna. So le ravuna berei dav yeshua says no. That's not true. Kolecha dahani nazvi mehani dahani nazvi mehani ktani. Anything where the men can marry, marry the women and the women can marry the men, that's what was listed there. However, Kohen, by the comes the Kohen, Kidilu, by the means of Chalala, Asirle. So since a Kohen cannot marry a Chalala, right? So therefore it was not listed, right? Despite the fact that a Chalala can marry a Kohenis. So it wasn't, uh, you know, therefore it wasn't listed. You can't bring a proof in that mission that it wasn't listed, right? That uh, that a uh, chalala, right? Excuse me, that a chalala can marry a bas uh, uh, So also the comment of Avidi, Bar Avin, and Amar Lu, he says, children, hachi Amar Rav, Yehud Amar Rav, this is what Rav Yehud Rav says, lo huzru kasheros le nasi right? Those who are kasheros, a woman who's fit to marry a kohen, Abbas Israel was not warm, was not commanded uh, not to go ahead and marry uh, Sulem Chalob. So therefore, a Bas Israel can marry a Chalob. Fine, period. Then we had a case of Shnei Smith, then we had a case of a Mishnah. So we had a case of there of, let's say there were two bro paternal brothers, and let's say one of them was married to someone who's a Shnuya. Or perhaps the, the Ivan was a Shnuya, right? It's a Shnuya, perhaps, uh, you know, his maternal's, uh, his, his maternal grandmother, right? That's a Shnuya. So, Shnuya is the very safe room. So, boy, me know, B'nai B'ri Merav Sheshes, Shnuya Laval, V'loi Shnuya Le'yavam. If you have a case of a woman, she is a Shnuya Laval, she's a, a second, you know, generation, or, 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 or
right? Which is guys they were calling shnuyos to her husband, but there was no issue, right? She's not uh, uh, related at all to the yavam. The guy dies. So yes, the ksuba the yavam alone. Does she get a ksuba from the yavam or not? Now we said in our mishnah that the shnuyos, right? That they do not go ahead and if I can find the mishnah, let's tell you a number of so it says over there by the Shnuyos, I believe it says they do not get a ksuba there. So by Shnuyos, they say over there, all those cases, uh, so it says, that ain't look ksuba, right? It says, ain't look ksuba, the the So she doesn't get a ksuba from her husband. So he says, okay, she might not get a ksuba from her husband, but does Yeshua ksuba the yavam? But would she get a ksuba from her yavam, right? From the, her, her deceased uh, husband's brother, Allah or not? So came in the remark ksuba, so on the balarishan. Since normally we say that the, when she goes ahead and does yibum, so her ksuba in the end of the say her her marriage to her her, her brother in law if it ends in divorce or whatever it is or death, so then her ksuba is collected from the possessions of her first husbands, so lesla and therefore she wouldn't get because why? Because since she was uh, a shnuya to him, therefore he does not give her a, a ksuba. And therefore, she wouldn't get from a yavam. Adilma came in the yule lesla marishan taking the rabbanu meishen at isla, right? Or maybe we say that the, the, the rabbanu were not masake. In other words, they 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 punished right and didn't allow her to get exuded from her first house. But maybe for the second one, for the yavam, we would allow her. So I'm going to Rav Sheishas. So Rav Sheishas answers. Tani suba. We learn suba al nechse balarishan. The rule normally is that suba. Even in the case of yibum, is on her original deceased husband. Im haisa shnia labal. And if she was uh, uh, related, right, as a shnuyas uh, uh, and erva uh, derabadan to her original husband, afilu miyavam ain lo. She doesn't even get from the yavam. Michlal diika diisla miyavam. Right. It sounds like uh, there's sometimes what that she does get a ksuba from the possessions from the assets of the yavam. So the grand answer is no. Chasri mechsa. It's missing a part of the hachik. This is what means to say. The rule is normally a woman marries a man and he dies and she goes ahead and does yibum with the brother. So her, her yibum, actually her, her ksuba is from the yav. Excuse me, it's from the, the original husband and not from the other. The e less la marishon, but let's say the guy has nothing. She doesn't get from the, from the first, you know, he has no money, right? The first brother has nothing. Takino lemisheni. We say it's not good for a woman to be married to a man without a ksuba. And therefore we say, you know what, yavam, you're out of luck. Your brother was uh, penniless. It's it, you know it's on you to provide her with a ksuba. However, if but if she was uh, prohibitively married to her the first husband because she was a uh, shniya to him, she was uh, 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 related to him as a uh, erva drabanan. Even for the yavam, she would not get a ksuba. So therefore, it answers the question that for the yavam, she would not get uh, any ksuba, not for, because of her her relationship with her original husband was that of a shniya. Uh, erva, therefore, is a shnei medivir sofrim. So therefore, she doesn't get a, a, a ksuba from him, or not even from the yavam. Fine. Boy, midei Rabbi Elazar, midei Rabbi Yechanan, al mana the coin gadol grusha chutz the coin hadiot. If you have a case of an isra la, right? So a mana, a widow is permitted to marry a coin gadol, or a divorcee, or a woman who has done chalitza is prohibited to go ahead and marry a coin, a regular coin. Yesh lahen mazonos, or ein lahen mazonos. Right? Are they provided? Mazonos, right? Sustenance from their husband or not? So Gemara says, "Wait, hey Kedami, what's the case here?" Elaim the Yasva to say, if they're living together, let's say the Yaman the Kohen Gadol, so Bama Vaitzikai, right? So we want him to get up and leave her. So Mazonos Isla, right? Uh, uh, all right. So we want her. In other words, if he's required to go ahead and feed her, she's going to stick around. If he says, hey, you got to pay for your own food, she's like, I'm out of here. And what are we going to say? Good, right? Because you're not supposed to be married to him. So we're not going to provide her with sustenance. So we'll say, no, the zones, zones, that case doesn't make sense. So the answer is no. He went off overseas. Uh, the loss of Auckland, she borrowed money from people and she ate and she provided, sustained herself there. So my, what's the other thing? Tonight, Suba, you know, do we say that the Mazonos is a condition of the Suba that he's required? He obligates himself for his wife to provide her for sustenance. Mm-hmm. And with these like Suba, Islam is 
right? And since that she does get a ksuba, as we saw in our Mishnah, that Amon Lekoin Gadol, even despite the fact that it's a lav, and we'll soon see this in today, and Amon Bez, we're going to discuss why exactly there's a ksuba. But she does get a ksuba, and since she gets a ksuba, therefore she also gets the different conditions of the, of the ksuba, which is she gets sustenance, she gets support, right, to pay for her food. Adilma, ksuba domishka omivrak isla mezana. Uh, uh, they say, no, in the case of the ksuba, right, we wanted to go ahead and take the, the, the ksuba to get out. However, but by the mezonas, perhaps she'll stick around, right? So maybe she wants her ksuba and she'll, she'll leave, or do we say, but if she doesn't get mezonas, then she shouldn't get uh, uh, Lesla, right? So we said, no, she does not get mezonas. But we have one bride that says she does get mezonas. So kitanya hi misa. That case, which we say, one second, that case, which we say that she does get, she gets support, it means that she borrowed money to go ahead and, 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 and to feed herself. So she has a, a you know, $10,000 uh, balance at uh, Great Chicago, right? Mm-hmm. But since the guy died, right? So therefore, there's no reason to have the, the, the Takana in place. The whole reason for not to pay for her sustenance is because she said, hey, you're not feeding me. I'm going to go marry somebody who will feed me, right? But once he's dead, so then we'll say that the case that says that he does pay from his assets is when Allah Misa after he dies. Okay, he, he's not listening to Marion Yusha, but he's worried about the zones. He's and what? He's going to listen to the zones part. He's not listening to Marion or something. He's not listening to that too. So you're saying, right. So, but, but the question is, right, can she what go ahead and claim? And that was, it, it takes, right, I mean, two, right, it takes well, two to tangle. She'll take him to base them. The right. In what other words, they both agreed to go ahead and marry. So then at some point, she's like, okay, now support me. He's like, I don't have to support you. So they go to base and base will first say, hey, you have to divorce her. Yeah. But, you know, will they reinforce that he, you know, he owes her, you know, to monetary payments. <laughs> and he's, I mean, some have a, a, a slightly different version. I'm really, so he says, uh, Tani, we're going to Bryce a Yesha. She does the Gamazonas. I, how does she get Gamazonas? Help him. We want a case where, you know, he kicks her out of the house. So if he supports her, she's going to stick around. So the Allah, Tani Yesha. So what's the case where Yesha? The only case where she does get paid or reimbursed for her borrowing and eating is after uh, he died. After he died, then we don't care about him divorcing anymore because he's already dead. So therefore, um, you know, to, in order to pay the loan, we can pay from his assets. So the, right. The Ketubah says that when he gets the, gives the wife the Ketubah right. at the wedding, it says that he has to do sustenance. And then the base team is going to say, no, she doesn't get it. So, so it, in, in that, right. So in that case, right, since it was yeah. done with an Isser, since it was done with a Lav, so therefore, we, the, the base team will not enforce him to pay her because we want, you know, animosity. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, between the two of them. Mm-hmm. And what happens to the guy who wrote the Ketuba and, uh, and the, uh, uh, the guy who and married was, them? Why, why yeah, married them? He probably loses his, his, his license, right? <laughs> I don't know. All right, good question. Tadara bottom. On seven lines from the bottom. Almana le kain gadol, grusha le chutza, le chalutza le kain hadyat. Yesh la ksuba. She does get a ksuba, almana le kain gadol, despite the fact it's a lav. So she gets a ksuba, peiros, mezonas, blues. So she gets uh, uh, the, the, the the repaid for the uh, for the fruits right from from the assets and, and mizonos and sustenance and blues and also the, the clothing the worn clothing that she brought into this she gets uh, reimbursed for that repaid for that vihi psula she becomes a psula she becomes a chalola right in vlad of apostle and her children will be apostle the kaifin and we do force him to go ahead and leave don't you know you should not stay married to her that's Case A, all right? That's Almana, that's the case of the laugh, right? That's a laugh from the Torah. Shneas Medivy Saifim. What about if they're Midraban and they are uh, this uh rice, Medivy Saifim? Ain't Ksuba. She doesn't get a ksuba. Like Peros, La Mazonas, or Blaus, she doesn't get the Ksuba or any of the rights of the Ksuba, the Peros, the Mazonas, and the the, 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 the clothing. Vihi Kshera, but however, she's Kshera. She doesn't become a Khalala, right? The Vlad the Kasher and her children are Kasher. The and we also force them to leave. So the big difference is Amal the Kohen Gadol, you get the Ksuba. Mm-hmm. Um, you do not get a Ksuba. Now, what's the reason? 
Now, be my Why does Amal the Kohen Gadol get a Ksuba? Mipnei Shu Pasul Vipsula, right? Because he is Pasul, right? Uh, right. And was his children Vipsula, and was it's forbidden for both of them. The Kol Makom Shu Pasul Vipsula, and any time that he's Pasul and she's uh, she's Pasul, Kansu Oso Ksuba, right? We penalize him for Ksuba. Right. Very, let's, let's take a look at the top Rashi over here for one second. Right. So, it's a, so Rashi sort of, you know, uh, uh, spells out what we're going to say soon. Right. So it says, ksuba. We penalize ksuba. Klamar, mishar All right. We don't penalize him. Right. With other one behind the kansu rabbanon, the shnia, the shnia ksuba. Kadei shalotisakev etzlo. Right. Now, is in the case of when you're ready, Pasul Asr, to be with her, we don't record, we don't really need to 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 to, to place um, a knas, a penalty upon him. However, that which the Rabbanan do uh, uh, give a knas, right, is a case of shnuyas, the shnuyak suba kadesh lehizaki veslo, right, that she won't remain with him, right, because there's nothing basically. If there's no, if she doesn't become Pasul and her children become Pasul, there's no reason for her to leave. What's the reason for her to leave? He's not supporting her. Well, I'm going to go find someone that does support me, right? So therefore, now we want to create a situation, right? The cave in the loyhavi like suba mina shavkolei shaliva v'nafka v'al hacha. But in this case, loy tzarich the meila shavkolei, right? I'm actually leaving the cave and the who needs all yad of a yesh ktata b'neim. Since she's going to puzzle, you know, through him, and there's going to be strife between them. V'chein yesh needs all yad, and she's going to puzzle from him. Therefore, there's strife. So in other words, since there's naturally going to be strife. When it's an Isra lab, the case of Kohen Gadol Amana, therefore we don't need to add to add extra measures. However, However, in the case of Shnuyas, Mitivay Seifrim back in the Gemara, in the Ksuba, why should I get a Ksuba? because he's Kasher, his children are Kasher, and anytime the Kasher, Therefore, we 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 penalize her with the Ksuba. And therefore, we want her to get out of that marriage. Well, he's not ruining her or her children. So therefore, she's going to, another reason for her to leave the marriage, she's not getting a ksuba. She'll say, let me find someone who does. So that was according to Rabbi Shimon ben Elazar. Now, Rabbi Amir, Halu medivrei Torah. Haman of the Kohen Gado, Grusha Chalutza, is medivrei Torah. Medivrei Torah, people follow, right? You guys are asking, or I met here, and Mark asking in terms of, you know, why do they get said that in the first place, or it's not... So yes, this is Divrei Torah. An Almana knows not to marry, or Kohen Gadol knows not to marry an Almana. But Divrei Torah ain't Tzrich and Chizuk. And therefore, Divrei Torah does not need Chizuk. We don't need to make extra takanas. They're not going to go ahead and marry, right? We don't need extra penalty. A woman's not going to go ahead and marry. We don't need to come by and say you don't get a Ksuba because we don't think they're going to get married in the first place. The Hallu, however, the others, in the case of Shniyos, Divrei Seifrim, is that's only the Rabbanan. But Divrei Seifrim, Tzrich and Chizuk, that requires Chizuk. Now, the Gemara gives a third explanation, which we have machlekes as to which she does in, the Acher, Zehu Magilo Vezohi Magiloso. When the difference is if he forces, if he's the one pressuring her to get married, or she pressures him, right? If it's him pressuring her, right, then there's no penalty. If she's pressuring him, then perhaps there's a penalty because since you pressured to marry, what does that mean? So Dover Acher Max Tanila. So Ikadami, so who's the one who taught this Dover Acher? So some say it was Rav Shem ben Azar. It was, it was the first sheet of Rav Shem ben Azar. Umatam kamar, and I was and it's explaining his sheet. Umatam amru who pasul ipsula kansu asok suba. What's the reason why if he's pasul and she's psula, then therefore we penalize him ksuba. He has to pay ksuba. We play shahu magila. Because he pressures her, right? She's not going to go ahead and want to put herself in a situation where she becomes psula. She's she's not a halala. She's not a zona, right? But if she marries him, that will result in her children who be asked. So she's not going to want to get in the first place. Is this a regular coin? Co- or uh, a regular coin to a grusha. Okay. Yeah. So she, so he's going to force her. Uh, but however, my time, who, uh, but the other reason, my time, who kasher v'kshera, so kamsu asak, suba, 
And the, okay, excuse, sorry, I skipped line. He, so that is a substitute. Me play shehim argila, but uh, ma tam who kasher vik share a kansu asa ksuba me play shehim argila. But in the case of where they're both they're both kasher, she's like, hey, I need a husband, right? So therefore, she's going to pressure him because she doesn't become possible. So since she's the one pressuring him, we're going to penalize her for no ksuba. So therefore, in the case of where there's no isra at all. She's going to pressure him to get married. Therefore, we penalize her. But where there is an isser, she's not going to go ahead and pressure him. He's going to pressure her to marry. And therefore, the penalty is on him. Igadam, and some have a different version. Rebbe, uh, some say it's Rebbe, it was the second opinion who says, he was the one who taught this. The Chalusa Kokasha, and he actually, he had a difficulty with the part of Grusha, Chalusa, because they actually learned out uh, in the Gemara and Kedushin. If you right. Pressure him no, no, there, no, the only time, like the only time we don't protect the woman yeah. is because we don't want her to be married to him. No, but if she came up and she still wants, right? She's still right, but then, right, but she's us. She's Shera on, uh, on, on the right level. No, so it doesn't make her children. Uh, her, doesn't make her children. Uh, you know, Psulim, but Lamaisa, she just married somebody that's say her, you know, her, her, her grandson, right? Her, her, her daughter's so son. So therefore, we want them to, right? Now, so what's the problem? Chalutza, right, which is the, the, the Gemara and, and Kedusha actually learns out, and Asar Yuxin learns out that really the, the Chalutza is not exactly a Daraisa, it's more of a, the, the Apostle is a smach to be Alma. And about Chalutza, so what was the problem? So Chalutza was bothering him. Chalutza could cautiously, but Chalutza the Rabbanan. The East like Suba, what do you mean? Chalutza's Drabanan and has a Ksuba, right? And now, as your old thing is, Daraisa gets a Ksuba. Drabanan don't get a Ksuba. Well, Chalutza is really, you know, a Drabanan and she still gets a Ksuba. So then he says, no, that's the spur of that. East like Suba, Hadrama, Kavan, the Apostle, La, Midrabanan, Zo, Magila, Zo, Magilaso. So therefore, since that case, Right. So since he's the uh, he's the one pressuring her in that case, therefore, because she doesn't want to come Absula, So therefore, that's the reason, uh, because he's the one forcing her. Therefore, we'll punish him to go ahead and pay. Absula. So my Ika bain Rabbi, uh, Rabbi, Rabbi Shem ben Alazar. What is the nafkamina between Rabbi and Shem ben Alazar? Now the Gemara is going to go through a couple of different uh, potential nafkaminas. So Amar Rav Chisa. Now remember, what is the you know, is it, what is the nafkamina of why we penalize the shnuyos, but don't penalize in terms of the, the no ksuba, uh, in terms of uh, um, the amana or amana kohen gadol <coughs> or grusha chalutz kohen hediot. So Rav Chisa says Amar Rav Chisa, Mamzeres and Asina Yisrael ikibenayim. So the case of Mamzeres and Asina Yisrael. So if a Mamzeres or an Asina they marry so, which is prohibited, that's the nafkamina. Man and the Maraisa, according to the penal, it's the Raisa, Hanami the Raisa. Therefore, since it's the Raisa, you don't need Chizuk, and therefore you, there's so a Ksuba. Madar Pnei Shehu Margiva. But in the case of where it comes to uh, him pressuring her, Ahi Margiva, she's the one who forces him, right? Because uh, Rashi points out, right? according to Rabbi Tarfon and the Gemara in Kedushin, right? A, uh, a Mamzer that marries a Shifcha. Right, the children are uh, are, are slaves, are right. and if they're freed, they're they're they're, they're kashli Israel. So you, you actually lose the mamzeres title, right? The, the mamzer. So therefore, she wants. So therefore, since she's the one pressuring in the case of mamzer uh, or nesina Israel, therefore we're going to go ahead and penalize her and say you don't get a ksuba. And Rabbi Yez, however, Rabbi Yezer, Damar Harei Zabet, mamzer. Right, but he says no. This child is not only an Evid, it's also a Mamzer. You know, he's the only Mamzer title. So hala magilale. Well, I mean that she's not going to pressure him at all. It doesn't it doesn't benefit her at all. So in other words, then there's no reason to uh, penalize her. So Machzer Grusha Maybe the difference is a woman <clears throat> is divorced from a man, marries somebody else, and then returns to her original husband, which is also it's called Machzer Grusha. So so man deraisa according to the opinion is deraisa. Hanami Daraisa, it's a Daraisa. And therefore, since it's Daraisa, therefore she still gets her Ksuba. Right? And according to the opinion, it says, oh, no, you get a Ksuba when, uh, when he forces her. She was the one who, who wanted to go ahead and, and, and be with him because it doesn't passel her at all. 
right? She's already ushered a coin because she's a Grusha, right? So she's the one who wants to, to, to live with him and therefore will penalize her. However, Rabbi Kiva, Domar Yesh, Mamzer, Machavi, Lavin, but according to Rabbi Kiva, says, no, it's not so beneficial for her to go ahead and be Machzer Grusha. So, right, because if she has a kid from the, from the second when she remarried her husband, right, then the child becomes a Mamzer. So, all the Well, I mean, she's not going to force the knowledge. I'm not Papa. Bulo, the coin Gadol, Ikebana. Maybe it's the Bulo, the coin Gadol. So, right, a woman right, who already had relations to coin godly, but I'm on them a derisa on them a derisa. This is my still derisa, and therefore there will be a ksuba. Well, my dear, I'm playing Shahu Margila, and the one says, because he's the one who's forcing him. Oh, he Margila, she's the one who's forcing him. She wants to be married uh, uh, to him. However, because there's nothing will happen to her kids, or a pool of coin to, to, to coin godl. However, because it's only a, it's, it's only a chavi assay. According to the Rebbe and Yaakov, that her children would become psulim, they would become chalolim, because it's a chavi ase. So halam agilulay, blame me, she won't force them at all. Salam avashi, machzer, machzer, savek, satas. Right? So basically, so basically, he goes back and takes a, her, his wife, who's a savek sota. She was seen on seclusion with somebody else, but we don't know what happened. So therefore, at this point in time, he's forbidden to be with her. So in that case, and she says, you know what, don't worry about the waters, let's just get back together. Therefore, it's still Darais, and therefore she would get her Ksuba because we don't need Chizor. But according to the opinion, it says it has to do with pressuring, so she would pressure him to be with him because she has nothing to lose, and therefore she would lose on her Ksuba. Mm-hmm. But according to the sheet of Rav Asim and Cheresh, who says that even if it's a suffix sota, if, she, if she's nevelous with her husband, she becomes a zona. So now she becomes a zona, Asur Kohen. So she does not want to go ahead. She's not going to pressure him. Since she's not pressuring him, we're not going to penalize her. She's not going to lose her ksuba. So she's not going to force her at all. So she's not going to force her at all. So she's not going the sotavadai is the uh, uh, is is the nafmius. So since, since in the case of a sotavadai, we'll say that uh, it is a deraisa. However, there's no reason because she was already seen to be nivelas. There's no reason for her not to be with her husband or him for it. Therefore, uh, mm-hmm. she would pressure him, and since she pressures him, she would lose her mm-hmm. ksuba. Uh, <clears throat> time for the mishnah. All right, well, you know, we'll, we'll stop here. We'll stop here. So tomorrow, Tashem, we'll, we'll pick up uh, from here. Shkayach.